Hello everyone and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World here at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, sitting alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strecce. Rob, this is day three. We've been here uh, the entire time. We've got some heavy hitters coming on today. We already had the CMO, we're having the CEO on, but we're also talking to Informatica's partners. Yes, yeah, I think again, bringing it back to where you need Informatica, where you need data management, where you need to have that metadata, Informatica is there. And I, I think that's super important. Exactly, well a great, a great segue to introduce our next guest. We have Don, Don Tercel, the Global Head of Data and Analytics Partnerships at Google Cloud. Thanks so much for, for coming back on theCUBE, Don. You bet. Thank you. And Rick Tam Daniels, GVP of Technology Alliances at Informatica. Thank you so much for returning to theCUBE. Yeah, happy to be <laughs> Long here. Long time no see. <laughs> Basically a co-host at I this know, point. Exactly, so, you know, exactly, exactly. Well, thank you. Yeah. I want to start with you, Don, and, and talk a little bit, give our viewers an overview of the partnership partnership between Google Cloud and Informatica? So I have a long history with Informatica. Um, I actually left Informatica to go to Google Cloud about seven years ago. And as that partnership was forming, I was at Informatica building out the first touch points of Informatica and Google Cloud. So there's a good overlap for me to look back to Informatica and work with Rick and his team on both product integration, engaging with customers, getting things on the marketplace, making sure that Google Cloud's platforms for data and, and AI have a really strong integration and um, ease of use with Google Cloud, with Informatica. <laughs> um, both moving legacy customers um, onto the cloud platform from Informatica, um, as well as new companies really just getting started that are cloud native. We have a whole spectrum of joint customers and it's, it's a really mature and accelerating partnership to drive the value of data management for getting to the cloud, so. Yeah. And it's always a pleasure working with Rick. He and I have known each other for a long time. When I was at Informatica, he was at another Informatica partner, yeah. so. There's a lot of history there too. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think to me, this, this is why it's been a lot of fun, is that you see how Informatica kind of brings a lot of these together. And in fact, you had, you know, we were both at Next, or all of us, except for Rick, was at Next, uh, you know, just you know, back about a month ago. And when you start to look at it, you guys actually had some announcements, Informatica did, with Google at Next, why don't we reiterate what those were? And Absolutely, and, and as Don mentioned, you know, the partnership has been, uh, I think about five years old now at this point, but a tremendous amount of acceleration and, and really a customer adoption. Uh, we've been doing a lot of global expansion, so we expanded into uh, MIA last year. Uh, we just announced uh, at, at Next expansion to Saudi Arabia to putting a point of delivery there for IDMC. Uh, so that's been fantastic, right? And the, the product announcements, the innovation announcements though, uh, were focused around kind of two big use case areas. So one of the unique things about the Google partnership is because of some of the, the properties they have in terms of Google Ads business, other business, they're uniquely positioned in some ways to um, be focused on customer data platform type use cases. And they have a solution they call the composable customer data platform. And we've been aligning around for a while, but we actually launched what we call our extension for master data management for BigQuery. So basically makes it really easy to, to just get data from your customer 360 data into BigQuery to support those analytics use cases. But in the process, we also realized with Gen AI, Customer 360 day is really important for grounding a lot of Gen AI applications as well. So that, that same solution became an accelerator for our blueprint for Google Cloud to deliver those Gen AI applications. Don, I want to return to you because the, the theme or the tagline of this conference is uh, everybody's ready for AI except your data. And that messaging really aligns nicely with Google, Google's approach to the data foundation and making sure that the data is trusted, secure, scalable, that you have the right foundation. Uh, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about Google's approach to... to sure, so we have a set of services that are really helping organizations transform the way they bring data to the cloud, management as a common platform, um, no longer looking at it as silos and putting the best practice across that much more easily and simply. And we view that as a foundation for our other set of services around AI from Vector and our uh, generative AI models. And they're very tightly intertwined in the dependency for having that data foundation that Informatica is fuel for, is fueling, 
to develop new next-gen generative AI applications. Uh, we had been working with Informatica on regular machine learning based apps for a while, where you're ingesting a customer's data in a certain format to build a standalone model. But now the, the trend is now to marry with these generative AI models like Gemini and, and other open source brethren with Informatica data sources like MDM that may live in a Google Cloud database or storage but you still have to have that trusted, reliable data to do a, a RAG use case or tune a model for a particular outcome uh, driven by prompts that are, that are developed by de new types of developers. And so there's a really good layering effect of platforms. Um, and then looking at the security and the performance and reliability of that is really enabling the rapid delivery of new types of solutions using generative AI. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of it is about in, the simplicity and how, you know, again, Informatica can help, to your point, break down some of the silos. And because you have, you know, Vertex, you have BigQuery, you have a number of different things that may be part of that AI architecture, including Gemini and all the other kit that you have going on. But one of the things is looking at how you get started with it. And so I have to imagine, you know, Rick, from a perspective of getting started, one of the places that people are looking to is, is you know, Google's marketplace. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the, uh, the Google Marketplace really provides, a, from a customer benefit perspective, uh, it really allows them to think about their cloud strategy holistically. And, and it, it may come down to kind of the, it, it's about how do they acquire technology, but when they look at what their strategy is going to be, being able to say, you know what, I'm going to invest in Google Cloud and I'm going to get all the services I need, whether Google services or their third party services like Informatica from one place, that one stop shop, it's incredibly powerful for them. So, and we've seen a lot of uh, really big customers who, who get IDMC through the marketplace uh, and it really does help them just kind of unify their strategy and use the best of breed tools as they need them. Well, this show has done a great job of showcasing some, some customer stories. We had Takeda Pharmaceuticals on the main stage yesterday, uh, Royal Caribbean Cruises. Do you have any customer use cases that you could share about how customers are, are really solving some of their problems? Yeah, in fact, we have a whole section of the show over here that has round tables for customers wanting to know about particular topics. And I was just chatting with, a num there's a couple, two pharmaceutical companies, two insurance companies, a very large auto manufacturer that are using Google Cloud BigQuery or our platform for analytics, or they're using, actually one of them was actually using Spanner, our global relational database, for transactional workloads. And the integration with Informatica was helping them accelerate the delivery of their internal s solutions to the business. And a couple of them had gone through that journey of moving from on-prem power center to an on-prem data warehouse, all the way to the, the full transformation of getting to IDMC, talking to BigQuery. And now they're just starting to think about AI, so that's the next wave of introspection they're going to do. Each company was kind of on that same spot in the journey. But now they know that they have that data foundation in place and they think it's going to be a lot easier to step into this new world and deliver more value to the business. So really rewarding just to meet logos that I knew from my early days in Informatica that have continued that journey. Yep. And now they're mutual customers that Rick and my teams will, will try to accelerate. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, it, again, it's one of these things that the uniqueness of how the master data management and metadata and how Informatica really brings it together. I mean, again, I, I go back over 10 years with Informatica where I used to build cubes and for doing analytics data and all of this stuff. So I mean, geek out later on about that. But when you start to look at how it, it, it has evolved in the cloud and how bringing these pieces together, it has to be kind of a, a strategy when you're talking to customers and you're talking to customers, because like you said, I, I happen to have been at an open source company. We plowed a lot of customer 360 data into BigQuery. People then went and built 
their you know, recommendations engines on top of that, but trying to get to that catalog and trying to understand how to bring it together and model the data was always one of the big challenges. Are you seeing, not just in retail, but across, that that's how people are looking to get to those, like you said, traditional AI, I guess yeah. we could say, or call it. Old-fashioned you know, AI. Old-fashioned old <laughs> AI was so last year, but uh, you know, beyond just the generative, which they want to, where they can actually interact with their data, I, it has to be a, a major component, like you were saying, with those other industries like manufacturing, insurance, and so forth. Yeah. So if you think about where just the concept of machine learning has come, Informatica has machine learning as part of their platform, but we, you know, early on we recognized that if we could leverage an enterprise data to build a machine learning model, we could have a better call center experience. That's a big area that Google Cloud jumped into with machine learning, our CCAI platform. But it was using an enterprise's data to train, build, refresh those models. But the outcomes that we were driving to were always tied to the business, which is how do I accelerate a next best offer, or how do I address a possible churn customer, right? So that whole machine learning journey now, I think we're, we're at that other new inflection point of, it was hard in those days, because the experts were few, the data science organization could only handle so much projects, and I think with generative AI and having a data foundation, the concepts of AI can be adopted more rapidly, prototyped, and choosing the type of use cases to roll out will be a lot easier. And so, you know, this whole adoption of AI has gone like this, I think we're going to see a, a new hockey stick. And, it, and it's all because of the foundations put in place. Um, and then I can't emphasize enough the get your data to the cloud thing because it has been a journey for a lot of industries from a trust, reliability, um, sovereignty perspective. We've innovated a lot on delivering those two different geographies around the world, a different industry regulation. And I think we're at that tipping point where using the cloud for your data platform is no longer a question about no, I, I don't trust it, it's when. And so even the laggard industries are moving and so that foundation will just further accelerate AI as it's all brought together. Yeah, I would add to that too. I think um, you know, the nice thing about the Informatica journey over the last you know, five or six years in particular is that we actually, because of the, the vision that Ahmed had and leadership had to really aggressively move all of our capabilities to cloud native versions and, and we didn't just you know, lift everything, we actually reinvented things for the cloud, actually positioned us extremely well when Gen AI kind of exploded onto the scene. Right, because all the same challenges we deal with Gen AI existed for analytics, they existed for traditional AI, I guess, or legacy yeah. AI maybe at this, yeah. this point. Um, but, but those same problems still in play. Data quality, data governance, data integration, all need to be there. The, the, the only big difference is there are now new endpoints. There's new connections, new integrations that we have to build with Vertex AI, right? And some of these other key services and, and new opportunities to accelerate integration. So it does all come back to that foundation. And fortunately, a lot of customers here have that foundation. They're acquiring the foundation and now they're ready for AI. So we're at an inflection point when it comes to the technology, but we're also at a real inflection point when it comes to the future of work in general. And, and Don and, and Rick, you have a long history together. You were, you were once an employee at Informatica. Can you just talk a little bit about how understanding the culture of Informatica helps you be a better partner to them, which in oh, turn yeah. then helps you to help customers solve the problems that they're facing? Well, I think we have two very technology engineering driven organizations. That's a very good match. But even on top of that is we're so customer driven on both sides that you know, part of Google's mantra is putting the customer first. It's always been Informatica's mantra. We take requirements, we look at what their journey is, we we absolutely invite them in from a holistic approach into how we evolve our offerings. And we go together, that's the biggest part of the partnership. It's not only at the back where we're developing solutions together, but it's all the way out to how we're entering customers together and making sure that running Informatica on and with Google Cloud 
no matter the use case, is a good experience for them. And so putting that customer first is, is a collective cultural bridge, and that's really a big part of our partnership. Well, that's a great note to end on. <laughs> Rick and Don, thank you both so much for coming, for returning to theCUBE. Thank you very your much. Insights. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. I stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech news and analysis.